All right, so what is the fears of the ESFP? It's going to be the same fears of all the EPs, and that is the fear of control, the fear of narrowing down. And this is what their life's tidal waves usually end up being, that is other people are forced to control them. The other thing the ESFP hates is they hate the known information. If it's not brand new, and if it didn't come out 20 minutes ago, they don't want to hear it. And then third, they're running in circles because, like everyone else, they're going off of just one decider. Yes, they got the double deciders in the middle, and they're fairly balanced with their FI and TE, or TI and FE if they're another EP. But still, one of those is a savior, and one of those is a demon, either they're listening to themselves too much or listening to others too much, and running in circles. So if you're trying to type an ESFP, you're trying to get to know one, or you are one, or whatever, what you cannot track is the old Myers-Briggs stuff. You can't look for SC over NI. You can't say, oh, well, they have a lot of SC, and they're not doing NI, therefore they're this. It's like, no, you can have ESFP fps that are really really good at ni really really good intuition better than you but that doesn't necessarily make them ni or se or whatever you got to look for what are they respecting not what are they doing not can they ride a surfboard better than you it's not how it works oh my god What you want to first track is what is their first dominant human need. You should be seeing that their dominant human need is they love to gather in and they hate to organize. Now, they may think they're good at organizing. That's not what you're tracking. You're not tracking what they think of themselves. You're not tracking of what they say they're good at. They're probably going to tell you, peacock style, I'm really good at organizing. I'm really good at knowing the future. But then you got to look at their life. They run around constantly gathering in new and they're not even realizing they're doing it. So that's what you're looking for when you're watching them. You should be seeing that savior energy for gathering in something new. And specifically, if you're really paying attention, it should be the facts of reality first. You should be seeing that they want to gather in what is real. What did the person actually say? What did the page actually have written on it? Where is the actual video? That's what they're going to be saying to you. They don't want to hear your hearsay. They don't want to hear your theories. They want to start with what was what is reality. And they want to get as much of the facts first. And then they will make their intuitive abstract connections and jumps. And when shit comes to shove, when there are some discrepancies in the equation, they will abandon your stupid theories and your abstract end and all your hippie bullshit and go, well... This is actually the facts of what happened. And that's what you're looking for. You're not looking for, are they better at S than they are N? No, it's not what you look at. You look at which one are they kicking in the teeth over the other? Oh, this person will shit on your abstract theories and rest on the facts. Where the savior NI is going to do the other way around. The savior NI is going to go, well, you can't trust the facts. You can never really know. You just got to trust the patterns. And again, you're looking for that consistent behavior in that person's life. Not an anecdote here or there, right? Great. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The Myers-Briggs will tell you that all the ESFPs out there are SEFI. Those are their two dominant functions. And that is absolutely true for half the population. The other half of the ESFPs out there are going to be SETE. So they're going to be prioritizing the decisions of others first. The SETE is going, all right, I'm gathering in all this new information. I'm gathering in all these facts and reality. I'll figure out what they all mean later. I'll do the NI later. Anyways, how can I make a decision? I'm going to move towards my TE. What's TE? TE is tribe above self. Savior TE is I have to ask the opinions of the tribe before I'm allowed to make my internal decision. And so the Savior TE is going to want to go around and really understand what's your point of view? What's your point of view? Why do you believe this? Why do you believe that? Why does this make sense to you? And what they're trying to do is get a consensus of the tribe's decisions extrovertedly so they can then make their internal value of go, okay, I see the 10 TE reasons out there that all the, that the whole tribe has on this subject. I'm now going to decide internally and abstractly and emotionally to value this decision for myself. But the Savior TE has got to get the opinions from the tribe first. This is very easy to see once you learn how to see it, is that a Savior TE person, a Savior TE ESFP, is going to be constantly banging on the head of the tribe, wanting to know their point of view and their opinions first, so they can then better make their internal opinions second. And then the other 50% of the ESFPs are the SCFI. So they're just going, yo, bro, this is what I value. This is what I like. I may have good reasons. I may not. The tribe may agree. They may not. I don't really care. And then from there, that ESFP with the Savior FI is going to value what they like and then look to see who likes this, what are the reasons, and not be as swayed as much either way because the dominant voting power is for that internal FI versus the TE. And we'll talk about this more in other videos, but this is why if you do not have an objective goal on the horizon, you're a one-legged man going in circles. If you're an ESFP, you're going to overgather and under control, and then your decider is going to go this way or that way, and you're just going to run in circles. And that's your reoccurring tidal waves. You can see it happening. Forcing that objective goal on the horizon forces your functions to break and forces you to do things you don't want to do to walk in that straight line. I have to do something that sits well with myself, 
F-I and the tribe, T-E. So that's going to hurt one way or the other, depending on which one's your saver functions. Oh, I have to do something that works in reality with all the facts, S-E, and I have to know how to put it together so I can see what the path is for the future abstractly, N-I. You're going to have to cross those bridges. You're going to have to do those functions if you're actually going to get an objective goal done, which is why most of your friends don't do objective goals. They just run around, do what they feel like, and run in circles.